The release of the students comes exactly 40 days after they were abducted by bandits from the hostel located in the Greenfield University. A total of 23 people, 20 of them students and three staff of the institution sighted on the Kaduna Abuja Highway were kidnapped by bandits on April the 20th. Following their abduction, parents and spouses of the students became traumatized, especially when the news came in that five of the students were killed by their abductors days after. Notwithstanding the unwarranted killing of five innocent youths in their prime, the bandits also demanded an initial ransom of 800 million naira to release the students. And at a point, they came down to a 100 million naira ransom from the parents and threatened to kill them if their demands were not met. Three of the students were later released in April after their parents were said to have paid a huge ransom, while the fate of the remaining ones hung in the balance until today when they secured their freedom. There was a confrontation between representatives of parents of the students and the police over who should accompany the freed students back to the city center from where they were kept on the Kaduna Abuja Highway. The parents who were already agitated over the incident blocked the gate and insist that no policeman will accompany their children. And after some minutes of argument, the gate was forced open and the parents began their journey. After the emotional reunion, they expressed their displeasure over the rising insecurity in the country, saying that the release of their children comes with a huge cost. After 30 million, we agreed to pay 30 million on Sunday. They say if the money passed on Sunday, that we are going to pay another 50 million on Monday. At the end of the day, we end up agreeing with them. We agree with them. It's 150 million. When the, the, the men in the bush drop them, they call us. We went to pick them. The security there rush and pick them. We went there, asked them to release our people. We went to take them to the hospital. This is a 40 day. Look at my wife. Very pretty woman. Look at her now. We went to take them to the hospital. They are claiming. They want to this. They want to see your God. They want to see. We say no. That's why we force the gate. The sum of it is that these 40 days has been 40 days of trauma, 40 days of uh, trouble, 40 days of confusion, 40 days of disappointment that 40 days, the future of Nigeria, the children of Nigeria were kidnapped and no government, both federal and the state, none of them could lift a finger. I feel happy since I can see my family, people around me. I really appreciate the name of God because indeed God is faithful. These students may have been released after spending 40 days in captivity. But what is most worrisome for them and their parents is how long such cases of kidnapping and banditry will continue.